This is one of the best hitting teams in the American League. You can't even imagine how dangerous they're going to be now that he is hot. What kind of impact does his hot streak have on this lineup? Huge. I think, I mean, monstrous. I mean, pretty much the size of Aaron Judge. Right. <laughs> With what he can do, he can carry a baseball team. And I think you heard a lot of talk early in the season about him kind of pushing balls to right field and really forcing balls to the right side of the diamond, kind of getting caught up in that Yankee Stadium type vibe, right? Trying to hit everything in the short porch and right. Mm. But now he's getting back to that 2007. 17 type vibe, right? Absolutely. He's catching fastballs out front, catching breaking balls out front. And I've always said, when he has that long, beautiful, one-handed follow-through, right. that's when things are right. He's hitting balls deep to center and right center, catching all the breaking balls, pulling them down the left field line. This guy gets hot, Everybody else follows him. They not only love him, no. he's the best player. The dugout is hype. Absolutely. I mean, you see the dugout hype right now. But, Dontrell, if you're a pitcher, how do you pitch to this lineup? You don't get a break. Yeah, that's exactly right. You cannot make a mistake. You can see in the highlights, every mm -hmm. time a pitcher throws a get-me-over breaking ball Bang. or a fastball mm -hmm. just to fill the strike zone, the Yankees are very aggressive. Like Aaron Boone said, they're savages. They smell blood <laughs> in the water, and they give A swings, one, because they trust their ability, and two, they trust their teammates to be able to protect them. You've been in a lineup like that. If I don't get it done, I know my teammate behind me is going to get it done, and that's infectious in the locker room, and that's why you're seeing the joy and the energy because we're all taking part and going out here and winning baseball games. Well, I also think the one cool thing about that is is a lot of guys in that lineup are producing that we didn't expect them right. yeah. to, right? Mm -hmm. Gio Urshela could win a batting title this year. Maven. Mike talkman has been absolutely amazing. Maven has as well. Mm -hmm. So I think what else is happening in that lineup, these guys are taking this opportunity to get at bats and be part of that New York Yankee tradition, right. and they are just absolutely taking it and rolling with it. Next man up mentality. Also, too, we talk a lot about the players. Let's give Aaron Boone a little bit of credit absolutely. to keep right. everything at bay because, let's be honest, they're has to be somebody to answer to all those people, and uh, I think he's done a great job. And think Absolutely. about how many injuries they fought through early on in the season, and now you have guys like Luke Voigt looking good in AAA. That's what I'm saying these boys come back. They're coming they back can, up. They can be better. This is going to be scary. I mean, right now the Minnesota Twins have more power in the American mm -hmm. League as far as home runs, but I don't know if there's a more dangerous lineup they look pretty good. than they the Yankees, good. and we just saw them facing the Dodgers <laughs> last weekend. Are the hopes for the Mets making the postseason fading? Well, you know, I'm a Met killer, so <laughs> I kind of have some whack, whack. hidden joy in this. No, no but it, this is a struggle that you didn't see coming. Uh, everyone outside of City Field was hoping that it would happen. Another right. Mets collapse, but you didn't see this coming from the rotation. The rotation had a bad week. They're starting to struggle. The rotation was supposed to be the ones they were supposed to build off of to take pressure off this young, talented offense. And I tell you what, they're starting to hit a wall, man, so it's a little shaky right now. But I, 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 I believe in the rotation, but... I, I just I don't think it's going to be enough this year. You don't think this offense? Mm -hmm. What do you think about this offense? Can some of the young guys like Alonzo keep this offense going? A lot of pressure on this young, talented offense to continue to carry the load and score nine runs for Syndergaard. You yeah. want that to be a low-scoring game so now anybody else can factor into that lineup to win that ball game. But that's a tall order for that lineup to be scoring double-digit runs on the night. It's the rotation's job to keep the game close and intact and have a shot to win the ball game. Yeah, I, I know there's still a month left in the season, but I think these next 10 games will decide whether the Mets are going to get into the playoffs or if they're not. Right. Right. Obviously, they're playing the Philadelphia Phillies. They've got the they got the Cubs right now. They got DeGrom going tomorrow. And then they got the Phillies, the Nationals, and then the Phillies. DeGrom has to be the stopper. We He's got to be the guy. That. You know, that's what I was going to say. Guy. Absolutely. To take pressure, get the rotation, set the tone, get him back on track. If he doesn't pitch well tomorrow, I'll tell you, that timetable might be shorter. Yeah, it's crazy, man, because we've seen the Mets and they go on these crazy runs and we get so excited about them, it's just hard for them to continue to keep that going because it's it's such a high, you know. It's, it's another Mets collapse. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly I mean, DeGrom, what it is. DeGrom could be the, the stopper. In his last four starts, he's only given up four earned runs total. Do you remember times like that where you knew, like, yeah, I got to go out and stop this skit? I, I, absolutely. You have to go out there and go deep in the ball games and give quality, and you put that onus on yourself, but sometimes it can backfire and you try too hard to pitch perfect. Let's hope he doesn't do that to tomorrow, give them some quality, get, be able to keep it a low-scoring ball game. But I just don't see this offense being able night and night to score a lot of runs like that. All right, so Syndergaard, he wants to shake this off. This was a rough night for him. The most runs by a Mets pitcher since Johan Santana in Ooh. 2010 at 10 runs. Mm. And that was in three innings. That's a couple. That's a Oof. two beer night. <laughs>